I have no idea. Like, you, what is that? Why would we stage that? Like, yes, I have a great idea. Let's put a minecart with a chest in the end portal room. That's the that's the best idea I've ever had to stage things. That'd be that'd be geez, like what like what what is even like what is that even like like why would I stage that? It doesn't make any sense. All right, so um, what I want to do is this stream. I want, there's this video. It's called "Did Dream Script Minecraft Manhunt: In-Depth Analysis with Proof." It's by Night Trees. It only has 2,000 views, but I thought it was a really well put together video. I just wanted to talk about it. A lot of the stuff he says is, is I guess, suspicious. But when you know the context, it's not at all. Um, and I think that's that's what's coolest about manhunts is like something cool will happen, and video is edited in a certain way, and you don't understand why it was edited that way. And then when you hear why, you're like, oh, that makes that totally makes sense. Before. Before I, I go over this video quickly, and by the way, guys, don't send hate to this video or anything. The guy sounds like a very reasonable guy. Sounds very cool. Please don't send hate. Don't support that. Basically with Manhunt, just to explain. So the, the way it works with um, the series, because I tweeted about it, is that generally, we've for the last two, we've done a, a series. So it's a best of five series. So basically, team versus team. It's me versus the hunters. And we do five matches. So basically, best of five. So if you get three wins, then you win. Um, and then also, another thing, I've, I've said this many times before, but I think this is just important to understanding when I'm going into this video. Off the beginning, if I die like right off the beginning, we just redo. Like if I die in the first like couple minutes, we just redo. That's something I've said for a very long time. The second thing is actually the hunters get paid an undisclosed amount if they kill me off the beginning. I don't want them to like let me live off the beginning because then the video is not entertaining. You can see here, George kills Sapnap, just as it seems all over for Dream, giving Dream seven pearls. This is never again seen in any other manhunt and this kill happens to be the only reason Dream won this manhunt, which begs the question, why did George kill Sapnap in this specific manhunt and not in any other? So this one I think is pretty funny. I think most people who are fans of mine might know this, but George and Sapnap, like they go at each other. Uh, there's, you can find so many streams online of like George being like, Dream, help me, and and because Sapnap's just killing him. Like they just they just on the SMP everywhere. They literally just kill each other. Like they do that. That that is literally like their thing that they do. They kill each other. Now after this, I will say they probably learned a little bit and realized, hey, in the manhunts we shouldn't do that. But I will say they have actually done it in future manhunts after this. I just cut it out. You can hear that bad is specifically searching for Dream, and you can. So he says you can hear bad is specifically searching for dream, but he's literally walking. He has no hunger. He can't even sprint and he's walking towards a cow. <laughs> he's like, you can hear that he's specifically searching for dream. Like now he's looking for food because he, he's going to die if he doesn't get food right now. Like a lot of times you can just get distracted. Like bad has no reason to believe that I'm hiding behind a tree about to jump him when he sees a cow and runs towards the cow. It's like two seconds. Like, it's like literally not even a second where I'm hiding and then I'm already like on him. Like maybe maybe it was three seconds between when I was behind the tree and then ran out and attacked him. A couple, a couple things to clarify with the compass. One, the nether, You don't. we don't actually use the compass. So in the nether, we have a little thing above the hot bar that points to where I am. You'll see that Dream doesn't burn any of the stuff, giving away for the hunter to yet get it again. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't burn the stuff that's in the water. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I technically could have, like I could have placed blocks and stuff like below it and tried to block off the whole waterway and, and got it up so I can burn it. Or I guess, do I have lava? I don't even know if I, I don't think I have lava. Maybe I did. Maybe it'd be a little easier to throw lava in there and burn it. Um, but I wasn't, I think I just wasn't thinking about that. But still, I mean, I just wasn't, I was just trying to be quick and getting out of there and I wasn't thinking about it. That's just a mistake. I should have burned it, um, but I just made a mistake. Dream at all times. This makes me question whether or not they actually have a compass. <laughs> you hear George just scream there. Well, again, they're not like, they're not constant. Like he's cooking iron. I mean, sorry, he's cooking food. Like he's not constantly looking at his compass, staring at it and going, Hmm, where is Dream? Is he going to sneak up on me? And also, one thing he doesn't even mention is that I come from the same way the compass was pointing. Like, look how f I'm coming from this direction. So even if he was staring at the compass, it would be pointing the exact same way. I'm just running in a straight line towards him from the same direction. He said, we can't hit him though. Just listen. Did you hear that? He said, we can't hit him though. Now you would assume here that he's just saying he can't reach him. 
but seeing how close they were before Dream entered the water, and seeing how many times Dream had met. <laughs> when you're in a moving boat, you literally can't hit. Like, you can't hit somebody. It, the Minecraft mechanics don't work. So, when he said, I can't hit him, though, he's in a boat. Like, two of them jumped down, hit the strider even twice. Two hits, and the strider would have been dead. <laughs> to me, this one's kind of ridiculous. It's like, if any of them had suicided into the lava and happened to get close enough, and, and Dream didn't move away quick enough, and they hit his strider twice and then died, then he would die. And, and, and why didn't they do that? Why didn't they risk literally burning their, all of their items in lava for like a chance at killing him? I, I feel like if he would do that, maybe he'd be a bad hunter because you know, he'd, he'd be like, I'm gonna jump down and kill him. He like jumps down. I just like move two blocks back and he's like, uh, uh, just dies and burns all his stuff. And they're like, you idiot, idiot. what the hell's wrong with you? Like, I don't think that, I don't think he'd be a very good hunter. I mean, I think the, the other hunters would like disown him in two seconds. Like, yes, please risk burning all your stuff in order to, you know, potentially maybe do damage to his strider. A crit from an ax would do 10. How are you gonna crit him with an ax? You know, are you saying like they're like Superman, like they like jump in midair, perfectly land the crit with the ax, get in the lava and then like start spam clicking or something. Like they're not like, you're acting like they're like, like every player is like Technoblade or something like that. Like they're not gonna, they're not gonna pull that off. Like even Technoblade wouldn't do that. Technoblade would be like, hell no, I'm not, I'm not jumping in this lava. Like I am going to wait, I'll get another opportunity later. It's fine, I'm not gonna, jump in this lava and die like now this makes me question that whether or not dream had prolonged the manhunt just so the hunters could get fully enchanted armor because note at this point before in the video the hunters didn't have enchanted armor their armor was just normal iron armor just like dreams and they had all died they had all died pay attention to that he says they had all died right let's see did they all die Look at you, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, stand up. Are you changing? Okay. Are you all still in this? Do you know who's who? Yeah, yeah. You Where'd he go? So bad died. Okay. It's okay. Just look for Wait. him. Wait. Wait, stand up. No, oh get out. Oh god. him? Oh my god. No. George died. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Sapnav. Yes! What? Green. Where did Sapnav go? Why? George, this way. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Turn around. Guinness. I don't understand how you got above me. I thought I was digging down to you. I, I, someone I, fell in my I, hole. I thought it was sad. <laughs> Southamp didn't die. So that's the first thing that's wrong about that. Southamp didn't die. So Southamp had full iron and Southamp was able to retrieve some of bad stuff. So bad had full iron. Southamp had full iron. So the only person who didn't have full iron was George. Yet yeah, Bad just Bad just stands still for some reason. He 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 just stands still. I don't know why, but he just stands still. Which backs up further evidence saying that the hunters have a client which show how much health stream is on. Okay. So let's think about that real quick. So he just said that he thinks that in this scene, at 33 seconds and 12 of 33 minutes and 12 seconds in the manhunt finale rematch, that bad not jumping towards me and hitting me was because I was on one heart and because they can see my health. So let's go and watch that scene in slow motion. <laughs> so I shoot and miss. Bad doesn't jump towards me. Kind of weird. George jumps towards me. I'm on one heart, keep in mind. Switches to his sword and hits me. I'm on one heart. He's saying that they have a mod to see my health. George hits me with a sword on one heart. But because he was on slow cooldown when he switched to his sword, I lived on half a heart. Like I, I, I was probably like literally so close to dying here, but he, he skips this clip. Why does he skip this clip? That's ridiculous. Like he uses the clip like literally a couple seconds before it. That is the closest you can come to dying. Like getting hit by the sword on one heart, getting hit by a sword. Like there's no way like you, you die like nine out of 10 times. And it, you can see here, it says weak attack, right? So weak attack just means basically that he swung too early. So he didn't let his attack charge. I, in my mind, that proves they can't see my health. Like he's hitting me with a sword on one heart. How could, how could he possibly know my health is one heart then? He would have just stalled or done so or backed up or something. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So we see a minecart which spawns right next to the end portal. And look. 
I, I have no idea. Like, you, what is that? Why would we stage that? Like, yes, I have a great idea. Let's put a mine cart with a chest in the end portal room. That's the that's the best idea I've ever had to stage things. That'd be that'd be geez, like what like what what is even like what is that even if like like why would I stage that? It doesn't make any sense. Yes, guys, my my perfect my perfect manhunt is the the mine cart in the with a chest in the end portal room randomly on the staircase like i don't know how the hell that happened i'm assuming like the mine carts like the the, the mine shaft spawn first or something and then the end the end the the stronghold spawns next and so it glitched and like so the port the when it when it deleted the the mine shaft the chest uh fell down um and i, I so I, I think that's what happened i'm sure it can happen i'm sure somebody can prove that can happen i don't think i have the seed for this world anymore but but it did happen it happened yet again dream managed to sneak up on the hunters despite the hunters having a compass pointing to him it makes me question whether or not the compass is broken at this point see look here he manages to sneak up on Bad Boy Halo and Sap Nap while they have a compass. The compass should be telling them that Dream is this way, yet they seem to be heading this way. Well, the whole time when they're tracking, the compass is pointing this way. They see the ocean above, ahead. They make a boat. They run forward to go click on the boat. They're assuming that I'm that I'm not hiding. Again, it's just all about what are they going to assume. Are they going to assume maybe he's hiding behind that hill? Let's just pay attention super closely to our compass and see if it turns right here. Like, no, they're not. But when they are, you notice they do that in the videos. Like, if, if, you, if they know, hey, he's right around here, they, they do say, oh, it just turned. He's right above us or right below us. Like, they do that. They pay attention to it when they need to. But in this case, they'll just assume, eh, you know, he's probably not right here and they're not going to pay attention at 100% of the time. George just watches. He just, see, he just watches and he doesn't keep building up. I, I don't understand why. I mean, I, I don't understand why either, but then again, it, it means George, not me. George is George. Like, George isn't the best, the best player on the Hunters or anything. Like, he's probably not gonna swim up alone and I, get, I knock him down and he dies and then everyone's mad at him, like. And here, I just have to point out, Lamal, stone crafting table. <laughs> what the hell? You're like, you're okay, this debunking oh, man on video, roasting for the fucking stone. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm wrote, just, just, just like, just like. Hear how Bad is really cautious about going to Nether, thinking that Dream has made a trap for them. Here at 3344, he goes against completely what he just said. Yeah, so the thing is, in this part, this people, people say that point this out all, out all the time and say, well, the first time when he needed time, they didn't go through, but the second time they went through right away. So the first time, it was the first time they were entering another portal after me. And they had a discussion. They had like a five minute discussion about whether or not they should go through. They talked about their armor. They talked about everything I could possibly have on the other side. They talked about all the different traps everything and they decided okay we'll go through and they went through and then nothing happened and then later on now again they got to the same part where i'm by a portal and i end up going through it and i'm trying to bait them to follow me and they followed me right away and the reason they followed me right away is because of the fact that they had already discussed it like they already had the discussion so it makes sense the first time they had to have the discussion and then once they had the discussion the second time they just went through he has no saddle i just don't get why he took this unless of course this was already put here and just left here. Yeah, I didn't place a saddle. So basically, striders can spawn with saddles with a like guy on top of them or something, and then that guy can suffocate in like blocks in the Nether or just die somehow, like from a skeleton or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. And then it's just a saddle. So that's what happened. I'm guessing um, we were in the Nether for a long time, so there was a lot of time for it to happen. Um, it just had a saddle on it. This isn't the point. I just, I just need to point this out. Sapnap, god damn it! Had you just hit Dream, Dream would have died. <laughs> he doesn't know my health that's why there's an answer for like, for like everything but, but yeah he doesn't know his health but also like i'm like to the side one block below him there's a block between us it's like a foot trap like it'd be hard for him to hit me first of all and second of all he doesn't know my health so he probably thinks I, he might have to hit me three four five times he probably thinks i have food i just happen to have no food that's why i didn't heal otherwise i would have been on full health and when he goes into this in this this part here that part is where cave spiders usually spawn yet not a single cave spider spawns so first of all i'm breaking iron with a golden pickaxe 
<laughs> I staged that part. I thought it'd be so funny to break, make myself look like a fool. But no, we play manhunts on easy. So maybe we have played a manhunt on not easy before, but we play manhunts on the easy difficulty. So cave spiders don't actually give you poison and there's much less spawns. There has been some manhunts where there's a lot of mobs. And so, but there's a second thing as well. Even on easy, there's all, we also play on a server. So there's mob caps. So what mob caps are is it means that if there's a certain number of mobs already spawned, then it won't spawn as like, it won't spawn more mobs near you because it's hit the limit. So I want you to listen carefully to something he says that, that th this plays into that because he says something. You can hear George and Sapnap complaining about there's so many mobs yet next to Dream there's not a single mob. That makes sense, right? So he's saying you can hear George and Sapnap complaining about how many mobs are near them, but by Dream there's no mobs and that's because of the mob cap. I am going to be releasing a t-shirt that's a manhunt t-shirt that if you buy you have a chance to be in a manhunt like fight like going against me i'll be speed running and you'll be like hunting me maybe maybe you'll be hunting me with like george and safnap or something um maybe george safnap bad and ant i don't know maybe five people but that's what i that's what i'm gonna do in the future so i don't know when probably some point this month i do plan on doing manhunts with other people um i did offer technoblade in the past to do a manhunt um i think that offer is still there if he, if he wants to do a manhunt i'm, I'm down with doing a manhunt